you know, we had the phone call and I just appreciated his directness. Then we scheduled like our first date. I actually wanted to cancel it. I texted him and I was like, I'm sick, I can't go. <laughs> and this motherfucker calls me and he's like, hey. And I was like, hey, he's like, you don't sound sick. You're fine, I'll see you tomorrow. And I was just like, what? And so we went on a date. I met him for Froyo the next day. The most interesting date I had been on because I think I walked away not thinking like, oh my God, this is my future husband and this and that. I was just like, I just keep wanting to talk to him. I remember feeling like for the first time in a long time, I didn't feel like alone. I remember thinking like after I was like, I don't even care if we date, but like, I'd really like to be friends with this guy. It was what kind of kicked off our relationship. I think everyone has different sides to themselves. He has a very intense side that I think he was fully immersed in that when I met him. Yeah, I remember thinking he was Christian Bale. Um, because I walked in and it was like this very well-organized water, yogurt, egg whites, Diet Coke. And I was just like, that's it? Like, this is the house? You know what I mean? I was like, this guy's so weird. Then we like, he was touring me the house. We walked into this hallway and it was just like animals in like attack mode. Like there was like a hippo and it was like, and then there was like a lion and it was like, and then there was like a panther like on the prowl. And I was like, why do you have all these like aggressive animal pictures?